tries most high my need you all right as always i like to thank my subscribers thank you for subscribing to my channel if you're new to my channel do like share and subscribe all right so this is going to be a relatively brief video and it's kind of just covering something that i've covered before but it didn't really dawn on me until i was just really thinking about it and it 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 kind of hit me in the face like a brick like a ton of bricks which is one of those like how did i not see this to begin with with everything that they've said i didn't realize that one little thing that was very obvious all right so if you feel right above the crack of your buttocks the crack of your ass the very top part you will feel that it is smooth and flat there is no protrusion there okay there's no protrusion there there is no coccyx bone there is no tailbone there if you are indigenous, melanated, so-called Negro, a created being, you do not have a coccyx bone. Only thing you have is your pelvic bone. You do not have a protrusion connected to your pelvic bone. Okay? You don't. There is no protrusion. You can feel this yourself. And you will feel flat smooth that's it no protrusion that resembles that of a tail that is something only the hybrids have they have a coccyx bone aka a tail bone because they are a primate they are a monkey Quite literally, they are 96 to 98% primate, okay? I did a little more diving and realized something again. I missed this too, but it, it, it kind of made sense. The mongoloid has 4% Neanderthal, which is human DNA. The Middle Eastern hybrid, okay, the so-called Middle Eastern, has 3%. They are closer to the Eurasian, but they still have more. They are 3% Neanderthal, which is human DNA. The Eurasian, which is the youngest, okay, of the hybrid, has 2%. Neanderthal DNA, which is the human DNA. If you notice that secession in the numbers is exactly what you think it is. It was you specifically going down. It was on purpose. That's how you know that they were engineered from created beings primates are created beings okay but yes it is literally going four three and two the first one was four percent the second was three percent the second was two percent that was done purposely it, it makes a lot of sense but it shows that they are engineered. That there's three groups of them and it would go in succession of four, three, and two. That way you know who created, I'm sorry, engineered these lab rats, these lab experiments, these science experiments. They were engineered by those who are of the frequency of four, three, and two. That is the stamp of four, three, and two. That is what engineered these hybrids. Four, three, and two. Four percent, three percent, two percent. Your mongoloid is four percent. Neanderthal human DNA. Your Middle Eastern hybrid is 
3% Neanderthal human DNA. Your Eurasian hybrid is 2% Neanderthal, which is the human DNA. The stamp is literally on the hybrid of whom created their little hybrid asses. Plain and simple. Just put them together and you see 432. That is the stamp of who engineered them. Okay? Because when I was thinking about it, it made a lot of sense. Because it was like, if it's 4% and 2, it's missing 1. 3. Because the Middle Eastern one looks a little bit like the Eurasian, except they have a little more, less of the yellow like the Mongoloid, but this is kind of an in-between. The only thing that could be in-between, that would be 3. So they're a little more, that's because if you notice when a Eurasian mixes with a so-called Middle Eastern, the dominant is the Middle Eastern hybrid is more dominant over the Eurasian because it's more dominant. Same thing goes for the Mongoloid. If you mix the Eurasian with the Mongoloid, the child will look more like a Mongoloid. That is why. Because if the Middle Eastern and the Eurasian were both 2%, well, it would be 50-50. But that is not the case. They are always dominated over by the Middle Eastern hybrid or that of the Mongoloid. So there's your 4 and your 3%. But like I said, if you are melanated, indigenous, created being... It doesn't matter if you are Ivory or a Hamite or Jephthah. It doesn't matter if you are indigenous to the plain. If you were created, you do not have a coccyx bone. You don't have a tailbone because you never had something to be cut off at birth. <sighs> they have. They are the only ones with that protrusion. That lump above the crack of their ass. Quite literally. Only the hybrid has that. They are the ones with a coccyx bone. They are the one with that tail bone. It's in its fucking name. Tail. They are still born with tails today. It's just cut off during birth. Other than that, look it up. It's not hard to find what three groups of people are born with tails. Okay, if they're in a so-called poor country, then they don't get the tails cut off. Because they don't have the access to the medical doctors to be able to cut it off successfully. Okay, they are still born with their fucking today. It's just cut off. It is cut off during birth. It is literally cut off. Surgical shears is what they use to cut them off. Because you can't use a scalpel to do it because that would take too long. But surgical shears, on the other hand, very, very quick. You take it by its tail and you cut it the fuck off. It's really that quick. It, it takes maybe, I don't know, five seconds Think about it. These hybrids are still born with their tails. Because if you ever wonder, you only hear of a hybrid. Oh, I broke my tailbone. You broke your tailbone. They literally break their tailbone. Think about it. When, you, when a cat or a dog, if you cut off its tail... It still has a what? It has a tailbone left. A little nub. Hence tailbone. They have a little coccyx bone. You look at a rhesus monkey and its tail. Where is the placement of its tail? Right above the crack of the buttocks. Literally. In a downward position... Okay, it's, it's almost like a 
cylindrical like lump right on the top of the crack of their ass. It's a literal it's literally a bone because it's attached to their pelvic bone. It's attached. It's a bone. All muscles are attached to a bone in some way, form, or fashion. Think about it. Because that dawned on me earlier today. But if you are indigenous, okay, you are melanated, you're a created being, you do not have a coccyx bone. You can feel yourself and you will feel that it is smooth and flat, not any type of protrusion. Think about it. You can feel little protrusions on your spine because of going all, you know, from your lumbar all the way up. But when, once you get to the pelvic bone, it's flat. It's smooth. There is no lumps there. Okay? You do not have a coccyx bone if you are natural. Okay? Only beings whom have tails are animals. Literally. Animals have tails. Humans do not have tails because they do not come from a fucking monkey. But anyway, I just wanted to bring that out. Check it for yourself. It's real easy. Use your middle finger and feel right there on the very top. Before you get to the crack of your buttocks, you can feel it. It's flat and smooth. There are no lumps there. You do not have a tailbone because you never had a tail to begin with. Hybrids have the tailbones because they had a tail. It was cut off during birth. Check for yourself. Tries most high. Oh, almost forgot and if you're a hybrid and you're watching my channel and, <clears throat> and this video do do the same very thing I told my people to do and you hybrid will feel a nice little protrusion a lump a bone on the top of your pelvic bone before you get to the crack of your ass. You will feel a bone. You have a coccyx bone. Humans do not. Therefore, again, there should be no more confusion to who comes from a fucking monkey. Who comes from a primate. Who is an animal and who isn't. Just feel it for yourself. It's not hard to do. It takes like two seconds. You'll, if you're in, if you're natural... It's flat and smooth. There's no protrusion. If you're unnatural, you have a coccyx bone. Trosmos high, my need you.